Hi everybody, Captain Bart One here. Uh, going to do a long-term review. Uh, this is the Buck Hoodlum. Uh, let's see if you can see the. You can sort of see it between all the scratches. This is a ten and a half inch blade of 5160. Uh, overall weight of the blade itself is 14, uh, about 14 ounces. Uh, with the sheath, it's an extra five or six ounces, I think. Anyway, um, my car to handles, uh, not polished, but they're fairly smooth. It's got the uh, bone scoring tool here. This is a completely plain edge. And I gotta say, this thing is a beast. I received this in trade uh, six months ago. This has been my primary go to blade since then. And I don't know if you can see that there. That was a uh, quarter of a log I processed this morning, so we had some kindling for firewood. Now, I know I didn't film it. I was not exactly by myself, but I was kind of, so I couldn't film and baton at the same time. I don't have a tripod out here today. So, uh, I've used this to uh, process lumber, well, logs into firewood, snap cutting stuff, oh, to about that big around, about, oh, I don't know, two inches across. You can use that uh, four-sided chop to break it off, and it works pretty well. Um, it, it's just a beast. It really is. And, yeah, I actually touched it up yesterday for the first time since I've owned it, and... I found, and I don't even know if it'll show up, right in here somewhere, there was a nick. And I think what it was, yeah, I polished it out, so it's not there anymore. But there was a small nick in the blade from where I hit a piece of barbed wire that was grown in, uh, where a tree had grown around. And we're out here at Ryan's Farm, so that's not an impossibility. But I just used a Smith's two-sided diamond hone, uh, rough a little bit, and then polished out with the smooth. And then two passes on each side with a rod. And it's, I mean, you can see the coating. I, I've lost the coating up here, lost the coating down here, and that's just from you know, processing wood. Uh, I, I'm a big knife guy. I like processing wood out that way. Um, I feel like you have a little more control over it like that, and it's just my all around, it's my, uh, it's like my third hand when I go out in the woods, I, I don't go anywhere without it, um, take you over to the sheath real quick, the sheath's pretty durable, it's, um, Cordura, and I have altered it a little bit, see there's the Buck Knives Hoods Woods logo, uh, the only difference, the only change I made is I cut the pouch off. I used a seam ripper and a razor and got that pouch off and made room for a second blade. I've got a uh, more Triflex 760 here right now. And if I decide to get something else, that'll go there. Um, but I just got it attached with a tri-glide. And that's actually the secondary retainer strap that's actually up there. I just moved it down here. And it's threaded through the back of the more sheath just for that extra little bit of retention. But... Uh, yeah, MSRP on this knife is uh, about 230 Not unreasonable for big knives. It's not a Becker, of course. You know, Beckers are running, oh, anywhere between $90 and $120 for a BK9, which would be a comparable size blade. Um, it'd be a heavier blade than this. Like I said, this is for a chopper, 14 ounces is really the, you know, might even be a little light. I, I really like it just because it's so fast. It's what I, it does what I want it to do. You know, process firewood, snap cut, shelter poles. It's, it's, it's just the, I really enjoy the knife. Um, I've never handled the tops version, so I don't know how it compares to that. But, uh, this is, this is just an awesome, awesome knife. I, I really like it. I would say it's worth the money. I really would. Um, so... I appreciate you guys watching. Please subscribe if you have any questions. Shoot them to me down there. Be happy to help you out. And until I talk to you again, this is Captain Bart 1 standing by.